Hey, hmm, what do you want? I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. into this poor area. What are you looking for here? I'm just looking around a bit. Ha! Huh. Then you better not be caught looking around. It would seem that we have a few thieves in the city who would steal stuff from the rich people. The city guard recently turned the Harvard district upside down, but they didn't find anything. Can you teach me anything? Oh, I'm forging a few fittings and nails and repairing iron pots. But I don't know enough about forging weapons to be able to instruct you. If you want to learn that, go see Harrod. He sure knows how to forge weapons. But if you want to train your muscles a bit, well, I can help you with that. How much do you charge for the training? Fifty gold pieces, and I'll help you to become stronger. What do you know about the thieves? Nothing, but all the citizens are scared and have become distrustful, particularly towards strangers. Don't get caught in strange houses. No one takes kindly to that. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself against thieves. A sturdy cudgel works best. Ah, you've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell, a spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. Tell me more about the experiment in the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance, if he has been knocked down or robbed. Even if he has only witnessed such a deed, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. So great was the wrath of Beliar that he came across the land and chose the beast. And Beliar spoke to it and the beast. Listen. 
probably talks too much. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant, but he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants for his potions. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. That's not what my husband thinks. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. He'd better show. to be had there. Thank <laughs> you. 
nothing, nothing the there. there. You're in for it now. Stop right there, you mobile! about picking locks.
About those stone tablets, I've got some. Thank you. That's enough. Now I could keep my promise to the water mage in town and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me if you like. Maybe I can sell you a few things that might interest you when we get there. Wait a minute. I need information about a weapons delivery for the bandits. Weapons delivery? Yes, I know about that. Some swine from the city sell them so many weapons that they can barely carry them all. Some of them are kept on the bridge where those bastards attack me. The rest of them were probably hauled past Bengar's farm on the high pastures. Maybe the bandits wanted to take them across the pass. Where are those high pastures? Orland's Tavern is located just about the center of the island of Corinus. It's called the Dead Harpy. There's a way south from there. It leads to the high pastures and the entrance to the pass to the Valley of Mines. Show me how I can hit harder. Right. Pay attention. There's a simple trick. When you hit, you don't take strength from your arm but from your entire body. Turn your hip, bring your shoulder to the front, and stretch out your arm at the same time. <laughs> if you hit right, you'll notice the difference. Show me. If you want to learn more, you'll need to train hard. But with it, the trees and animals were also washed away, and a deep sadness came to me. You really didn't deserve that.
I gave Vatras your letter. I didn't expect anything else. Thanks. Are you looking for something? Is it that obvious? Yes, I have an assignment from the Water Mages to look for some lost ornament. That's convenient. I have the same assignment from Nefarious. So you belong to the Ring of Water? Not yet, but I'm working on it. I'm glad. Then I don't have to do this alone. Have you already found an ornament? I found the place where we should find one. This stone circle could be one of those structures that Nefarious described. Now, we just have to find the mechanism we're supposed to look for. I want to... Sure. I want to... Sure. That's better. You've forgotten a lot since then. But we'll get it back. I tried the mechanism. It doesn't do anything at all. Then Lobart's farmers were right. They said that one of them had already played around with the stones here. A stone sentinel appeared out of nowhere and attacked them. The farmers called the militia. The militiamen called the paladins who came and destroyed the monster. I've already searched the whole area. If there was an ornament here, the paladins have it now. Then I'll go to them and demand the ornament back. All right, I'm going to the city now. We'll meet again at Vatrus's. Wait a minute. So you didn't know that. Will it ever change? Hey, you! About the plants. If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either! I've got all the plants I was supposed to bring you. What? You're pulling my leg right by Adonis. It's all there, all right. Who knows? Maybe someday you could make a decent alchemist after all. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. Hey, you! Can you teach me how to pick locks? 
You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Fine. Here are 200 gold pieces. You're still a few coins short of 200. I need that money. Do you really believe that? Where did you pick that up then? I want to start as your apprentice. Eh, great. You seem to know the basics already. Harrod thinks you're a good man. Thorben gave you his blessing. I'm not all that pious, but I'm fine with it. Constantino says you can sign up wherever you want for all he cares. And Matteo says you're worth your weight in gold. This means you have the approval of all masters. You can work for me at any time if you want. You didn't get that from me. I'm in. You aren't going to regret this. I think we'll be able to work together well. I've got a few skins for you. Wolf skin, that's good. Ah, even a shadow beast skin. Those are worth a lot. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. Hey, you. Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Matteo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Fine, here are 200 gold pieces. This money will really help me. We can start as soon as you're ready. Teach me how to pick a lock. All you need is a lock pick. If you move it carefully left and right in the lock, you can unbolt the mechanism. But if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction, it will snap right off. The more adept you become, the fewer lock picks you are going to need. That's all there is to it, really. Boy, that lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long at the Harbor District? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. I could take care of felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. 
All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. If I beat him up, I'll just get into trouble with the militia. Down here at the harbor, no one pays much attention to brawls. But if you steal around here or mess with the sheep, you'll be in trouble. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins. Are those your sheep? The only one that belongs to me is the one that answers to the name of Lucy. <laughs> That's my wife, Lucy. Their sheep belong to the militia. All the sheep they collect from the farmers, they bring to me. Hey! Why are you hammering? For days now, I've been desperately trying to fix the leaks in my house. The rafters have been crumbling away ever since we had those rainfalls recently. Soon everything's gonna come down around my ears. Hey! Could you stop hammering? No. I have to finish this. Really? How interesting. I'll give you ten gold pieces if you stop that hammering. Hey, that's very generous of you. But as to your gold, you can... Well, you know what you can do with it. Just quit hammering, okay? Just try not to bug me too much, okay? Stop that hammering or I'll break every bone in your body. Forget it, or I'll knock some sense into your head with my hammer. You'll re Smart kid. Hey. Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't Smart hit me kid. anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. The Honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against the King's guards most severely. Every inhabitant of Corinus. What's new? I wonder why the Paladins are here at all. They are holding the town hall, the barracks, and the harbor, but they haven't actually done anything so far. If they were here about the orcs or the bandits, they would have done something ages ago. There must be another reason. What are the most interesting places here in Corinus? <laughs> Maybe you better ask that of a man. If it's entertainment you want, try the harbor. But if you want to buy something, go to the marketplace at the east gate or to the lower part of town. Who are the most important figures in this town? Since the Paladins came here, they have taken over control of the entire city. Lord Andre represents the law. You will find him in the barracks. But you only need to go to him if you've trespassed against the law or to join the militia. What can you tell me about this area? You are now in the Harbor District. Where do you want to go? 
Thanks, that's all I wanted to know. What can you are now? Where do you want? Thanks, that's all. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is here by reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs. Each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself. What are you doing here? Everyone is <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? And to I arrange fights. Appropriately. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the harbor district. Home sweet home. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate. So, I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed, no bows or crossbows, and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Come here. Then let's see what you can do. Finish him! Give it your all. Not bad. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, ah, the following my head. decree is hereby oh, enacted. Man. You packed quite a punch. I see you already took your gold. You could have waited until I gave it to you. I keep my word. And one more thing. No one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jorah. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king, but there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I'm building a ship because I want to get out of here as fast as I can. But the way it looks right now, this ship will never be finished. Why are you in such a hurry? Soon the orcs will come and burn down the city. What makes you think that? Boy, have you noticed the paladins running around everywhere? Why do you think they're here? I tell you, they're here because the orcs will attack soon, and that won't be pretty. Can I help you somehow? Yes, you can. Find out what the paladins are planning. I want to know why they're here. 
and I have to know if the orcs will attack and how far from the city they are. One of the bastards was even seen outside the city. Just bring me all the information you can get. I need to know how much time I have left to finish the boat. Why can't you finish your ship? Oh, we have thousands of problems. The hull still isn't stable, and it's still missing a lot of boards. But I have hardly any gold left to buy new material with, and the last delivery had bugs in it. My boys don't work productively. One wants a fast ship above all else, the other one is worried about the figurehead. As if we didn't have more important things to do. Also, one of my people is simply not showing up for work anymore. I'm beginning to fear that this will delay the construction even more. What's going on at the harbor? The orcs are breathing down our necks and you're asking about the harbor? I only wanted to... The biggest problem we have is that there aren't enough ships in the harbor to get us out of here. To be honest, there's only one ship here, and that belongs to the paladins. They certainly won't let us get out of here with that. You're one worker short? Yes. His name is Monty. He's vanished into thin air. That lazy pig is probably living the high life on a farm somewhere. I should never have paid him in advance. When was the last time you saw Monty? He hasn't bothered to show up for work for at least two days. I've heard that other people have gone missing too. Just what I'm saying. That's where the evil starts. Farum, the fisherman, told me something similar. His buddy William is no longer around. I bet that the orcs are behind all this. Where can I find this Farim? He's a fisherman. I think that his hut is near the provision store of the paladins, but I don't know for sure. These are bad times. Really, how interesting. Really, how interesting. Alric says you got his sword. Do you mean that ragged fellow who traded his weapon to me for a few torches and chunks of meat? That's him. I still have the sword. How much do you want for it? Well, for you... Ah, so what? Here, take it. After all, you did help me get my gold back. That's what I've always said. Someone's got to do the work. Now that's typical, isn't it? <laughs> 